Hello, hello, everybody. Being Wiz, Jordan, and or Will, depending on who sees this. I want to show this as a proof of concept, because I've spent way too long in it today doing it, and I need somebody to see it, hopefully without a breaking. This is my proof of concept for a modular storage system that can be adjusted and moved all using the create mod. So when it's finished it'll use the buttons, but for now just due to timing and stuff it's not using the buttons. So for now we're just going to use the lint controller and let's say, I don't know, we want to bring up our, uh, yeah, wood chest. For that, in this case, we would hit the button, which in this case is this. We'll then push it forward. It does say that the machine is in operation, so you're not supposed to press any other buttons in case it breaks. Then you bring it up. And would you look at that? There's nothing in here, because that comes in, lazy. But this would be a wood chest, indicated by the nice little wood logs here. Then we're like, okay, I'm done with it. So then you bring it back down. You kick it into reverse, which for me is just space. You send it back. And put it back into its little home. Now, one big problem is I have this big opening. I might put a, like a cork or something, I'm not too sure just yet, it's a little bit more complicated to set that up, but that's not the only one. If we want to get, I don't know, ores, bada ball, not that one, bada ball, then we send it forward, then we send it up, and then we're gonna ore chest. And then bring it back down, kick it into reverse, send it back, and then press down to send it back into its locker. And then preferably kick it out of reverse, just for safety and default. Now, there's a lot that can go wrong with this. So, these were my prototypes of other systems. I might as well shut them off real quick. Depending on, so this one... One of them kicks it into reverse, the other one activates it. It's a little bit funky if you get it out of sequence, so it's just out of sequence right now. So you'd have a system like this, you press it, uh, the reverse switch, and then you'd send it back up. You go, cool, same system, but the problem is this requires a lot of vertical space, and vertical isn't exactly something we want to play with, and it gets messy. This was another proof of concept, this is where the concept came from to begin with using a rotating chess system that you kind of go, okay, blah blah blah, rotate it, and it was supposed to be a lot bigger, but the a lot more issues came up, and it was also using a clutch system. So the idea, uh, which one's currently, yeah, so you would be able to change the gears of which that you're in, which would change how much it rotates. And it's really <laughs> this system as well is really cool this took me ages to create an actual this looks complicated but then i simplified it in this one so this is my little locker system currently it's all just working off create motors because it's cheaty and i need to like this isn't this is proof of concept so each one of these lockers has the ability to be pushed out into the system and then push up. Each one of them also has the chance to completely break the machine. Because if you decide to send one locker out and the other locker out at the same time, the entire machine breaks. And that's not fun to repair. This system is my new version of that clutch system. So the only reason why I showed these two in particular is because they're the back ones and they're easier. But essentially these switch how far the machine pushes and more so pushes back. So all the machines will be pushed out to the very front, 
but these ones need to obviously when they come back they can't be on the same gear system because they need to come back here not back here so I designed essentially a gear system to ch interchange between the two of them or three different areas and that can be extended based on how far this goes back now the reason I like this one more than the other two is you can kind of just keep extending it back for ever and all you really need to move is this and like adjust some numbers and maybe extend and blah 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 but it's very nice you know you can double side it so you can have a lot going on you can technically extend this out these drawers and this machine in total as long as you want this is just a very small version of it just to experiment so it's very 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 proof of concept it is not finished it's like the button system is awkward as anything but I built this entirely by hand I built this all on my own and I think it's really cool to be able to just go yep I want wood today and when I eventually hook this up you press one button and it'll do all three of those on its own and you press this button again to send it back if you press another one that's where things will break and I need it's a lot of it's a lot of a lot but yeah that's the concept